Hello there guys, it's me and Stable Voltage and welcome back to episode 28 of Europa Universalis 4 as Ming. We finished our war with Korea, managed to get them to release a couple of countries. We still like to get them to release Janzu if we can. We have a new heir, which we need to name. I do not have my patron list in front of me. And it's currently buried under a pile of 3D printed parts. Um... <clears throat> Okay, bear with me while I go and bring up the list so that I can put the right person in. Do apologise because I should have had this prepared before. But it is just going to be one of those days. So we had Kenny in there before. I think we've had Tratos and William. Um, it is going to be uh, Lewis. I don't think we've had uh, Lewis in there yet. Uh, you're not going to let me type there, are you, for some reason? Nah, there we go. So let us get you in there. Fantastic. So... Uh, let us unpause. Now, what I would like to do at some point is go to war with Russia. Uh, Uzbek has, seems to have grown somewhat large. Uzbek is still my tributary, are they not? Yes, they are. Uh, what have we got here? Um, have we just lost our ruler already? Not the heir, of course. The heir's just been born. Yeah, we've lost our ruler. And we've got yearly corruption as well. That's not so good. Um, National Tax Modifier. Let's go for the Production Efficiency guy now. We can get a Rank 3 guy. We may as well do that. Um, Russia. Let's have a quick look at things here and see how they are going. So, Military Armies looking at Russia. Russia have 28,000 men, which is not too great. The Ottomans have 89,000. And that's going to be the problem, is that the Ottomans are actually um, allied with Russia. And that is something we do not like. Also, at the moment, they're not actually at war with anybody. And they're allied with Afghanistan as well. So the Ottomans could be a problem in this. Right, can we get anybody else to be our tributary? Not counting Korea, of course, because we want to go and uh, attack them again later on. So Salish, we can get... And we can also get the Chinook as well. So hopefully now we're making fairly decent mandate. Yeah, point, point zero, uh, uh, yeah, point zero one five, uh, we are making. We're not doing too well on the old meritocracy. That's been uh, really painful uh, so far. Um, but yeah, we've got all of the celestial reforms done, and we are still making a decent amount of mandate. We have another mission here, which is to conquer Chel Yaba, which is where exactly that uh, belongs to Russia. So yeah, well, we are going to have to go ahead and do that. Russia is basically where the fight is going to be, uh, so we can sort of get over into Europe. Kazakh is our tributary. So, you are at war, um, you are allied with the Ottomans. If I was to declare war on you, the Ottomans would come in. Not bothered about Utrecht, not bothered about Skov, um, not even all that bothered about the Knights, but the Ottomans are a pain in the hoop. Now, the Ottomans are also my rival. Lose ducats or gain local unrest and reduce goods produced. Well, we'll just lose the ducats. We have got plenty of money. So the question is then, in the meantime, Yeren has now declared war on Haxi. So this is another issue that we've got, is we could potentially have to keep attacking our neighbours um, to get them to give stuff back. So Yeren's declared war on Hax um, Hax Haxi. Um, and, yeah, that's not too good. Now, you are a tributary, aren't you? We don't have a royal marriage with you or anything. I don't like that, but do you know what? I'm I'm, I'm going to break this tributary. Um, oh, can't cancel when it's enforced by a truce. Okay, fair enough. Uh, but, uh, yeah, we might end up having to take this from Yeren and then forcing them to re release Haxi's provinces back to them. We'll see how that goes. Global settler increase. Let's go ahead and take that. Uh, we should start buying our stability back up as well. I don't think we've got any... Re uh, there is one rebel faction there. Not too much to worry about, though. So that's fine. Uh, I'm not too concerned about that. How are we going with this one? We are currently up to 12%, so it's getting there. 
So all of these Tengri ones are part of Pagan as well. So it'll only leave two provinces remaining. Two provinces which, to be honest, we could just go and convert. So we'll go and work on those. But yeah, this is the question. While we're waiting for a decent opportunity to actually get in a war with Russia, one that we can potentially win, uh, lose five loyalty and stability or lose a thousand ducats. Well, again, we've got plenty of money and we're making plenty of money. Yeah, we just need to find a way to get into a war with Russia without really having to fight the Ottomans. That's what's going to be difficult here. So we might have to do something interesting. Is that a bit of colonizable land? It is. It's not particularly great land, but it is colonizable. Uh, you need to go ahead and continue to explore. Let's go ahead and do that. So we're uncovering more and more stuff along here. We do have our um, army here looking for the seven cities. So we will be exploring bits of the uh, North America and the United States. So hopefully we'll start to see where the other people are. I'm sure that there are colonials over on the east side. We just haven't spotted them yet. How are we doing with tech? Um, particularly the institutions. We're still not quite here yet. Two provinces. Cost us a lot of money, but we'll soon be able to embrace colonialism. So that will be nice. But techs in general, military tech, gaining a lot of military power. Still two years ahead of time. Two years ahead of time on military and diplo. And that will give us um, the better, the bastions, which we'll, ha we'll have to take. Give us some more combat with some more infantry fire and some better cavalry. So that's fine. But yeah, a lot of it, I think we're just going to be spending time sort of getting in a position. Yeah, Yeren's actually taken that land from Haxi, uh, which is unfortunate. And so you really don't want these guys to be constantly attacking each other all the time. Uh, our truce with Korea is still going until 1580, so that's a long time. Oh, another global settler increase, very good. And I can't really do anything about, against Yeren anyway. Champa could not send tribute. That is fine. Again, it takes me all the way up here for no particular reason. Um, definitely a bug. Explore. We might have to try the old circumnavigate soon. It's about all that we've got left. So keeping my eye on Russia to see if they get, a, get in a war with somebody or even if the Ottomans get in a, a war with somebody. You've got the mission to conquer Mesopotamia, so maybe that'll get you in a war. Right, you have now declared war against um, Lithuania. Now, I can't tell whether or not Lithuania is um, allied with Poland in this. Because we cannot actually see them. So, how many troops do we have? I mean, we outnumber the, um, the Ottomans, I suppose. So, we could bring a lot of troops over in this direction. Let's go ahead and do it. Let's start moving troops over to the west. We will be declaring war on Korea again, but probably not for a little while. Let's go ahead and get into a position where we can start taking some stuff. So, start moving these guys over. We do want to keep a few down and around here, just in case we do see the Ottoman army show up. And like I said, I would prefer if the Ottomans got involved in another war with somebody else. Uh, don't really want to start giving stuff away, so that's fine. Uh, Ottomans, are you in a war at the moment? No, you are not. If I were to declare a war on you, the Ottomans would most likely still come in. But let's, let's start moving some units up here. Let's get at least sort of 80 to 100k on the border. Just so that we can deal with that. So let's move all of you guys up in that direction. And then we'll keep some of them hanging down here. Just in case an Ottoman army tries to sneak in. Because I've got the feeling that they may try and do that. We'll leave like one stack up here. So you can come down. And... Um, you can sort of move over here as well. I really don't know where they're going to try and come in from. Let's go ahead and get that mercenary discipline. Because we may well end up having to get ourselves a, um, a, a, a mercenary army if things go too badly. 
You guys are traveling along the same path. I'd prefer it if you didn't. Because you're going to cost me a lot of attrition. I mean, I guess we could just jump in and see what happens. It is it is a risk. Um, but let's go for it. Let's go ahead and declare our war over here. So the Ottomans would come in. Obviously, Mongolia would come in on our side as well. We'll just, we'll just wait a little bit. We'll wait for some more of those units to get into position. Um, there's nobody that's particularly strong that we could get an alliance with that would really benefit us. Let's give the estate some influence. That'll be fine. Uh, so the Ottomans, again, you're still not at war with anybody right now. We've lost an advisor, which is our Diplo guy. So we'll go for the Diplo rep. Yeah, we'll do that one. And uh, we'll be taken miles away across the map. Uh, oh, we can still do some coast. So it looks like we've now met the Navajo and the... Um, now which way around does it go? In brackets. And uh, Wichita... Royal Marriage from Mongolia, we'll go for. That should give us a couple more tributaries we can get. Indeed it does. Uh, should still have a free diplomat. Excellent. We'll just keep losing the money, as money we have plenty of. How far are we ahead? Still 13 years, so let's go ahead and take the cheaper recruitment time. Oh dear, Drunken Emperor. One of our expedition members, our explorer of all people, managed to get himself into a dreadfully embarrassing situation where he overestimated his own capability of handling the fruity liqueur the natives of people brew. Uh, discussing details won't make it into this report, but he was sick as a pig for a long time. The natives thought it was fun, laughing at his misery, but the rumours of this event has reached the ears of the high societies who frown upon such behaviour. So we lose some yearly prestige for five years, that's a little bit unfortunate there. The words of Christopher Columbus describe the tribe we found in Zong, um, Zoknocho uh, perfectly. They traded with us and gave us everything they had. With goodwill, they took delight in pleasing us. They are very gentle and without knowledge of what is evil, nor do they murder or steal. Your Highness may believe that in all the world there can be no better people. They love their neighbours as themselves, and they have the sweetest talk in the world, are gentle and always laughing. Uh, so their opinion can change for 50 ducats, or we'll just have them get a positive opinion of us. Was that somebody else there that we can just go and uh, tributize then? No, we've still only got that What? There's a few, the few that are getting closer anyway. So we're definitely doing well on tributaries now. Uh, so we have 54 tributaries. Non-tributaries, yeah, it's still, it's still a pretty almost even split though. Right, come on Ottomans, get involved in some kind of war with somebody. Before um, Russia and... Well, Russia are losing their war. Uh, national tax modifier and trade efficiency. What's the difference between these two? They both seem to be the same. Now oh, we'll just lose the money again. So, we've got our armies up here. Russia are currently losing their war, which makes me think it might be a good idea to just sort of jump in right now. I don't know if the Ottomans are going to march all the way out over here. I mean, it is a defensive war, so they will get called in. The random base tax in a province that we're not too bothered about. Come on, Ottomans, just go off and start fighting somebody. A few more people up and around here. We'll probably work our way all the way down here into Mexico. Because we'll, we'll have our own colonial nations. So that's fine. Uh, how are these colonies doing? Pomo is almost done. Truce with Ayathia has ended. I don't think there's anything else we can really take from them or get them to uh, split up. Again, let's have a quick look. No, still no more tributaries. So literally just sort of waiting on the Ottomans now. 
Looks like there's nothing else for our explorer to do. Looks like he's finished doing whatever he was doing. Could try and circumnavigate the globe. It's a bit risky. So a lot of truces suddenly ended. Okay, come on. Ottomans, why aren't you in a war yet? You're the Ottomans. Ottomans are always in a war. Kazakh centers and insults. Did they really? Looks like we might need to get these guys to um, concede some stuff away. Uh, we'd lose three stability. Now, they are allied with Afghanistan. Afghanistan wouldn't come in, though. But they are allied with Afga Afghanistan. Yeah, Kazakh's taken like a massive chunk out of Kazan. But it's Russia we want. I know we're taking a little bit of attrition up there. Russia are still in their war. Seems to be recovering somewhat. The Ottomans still not in any current wars. We may just have to go for it. Let's give it a go. What's the worst that can happen, right? So they're all going to come in, which is a little bit annoying, but we'll do it anyway. We've potentially got the numbers here. So let's go ahead and get some units in position. Let's make sure we've got some units bringing up the rear to potentially help out. We'll definitely leave the forts on because we don't know if and how the Ottomans are going to try and get in. If they even bother, they may not. Uh, we can embrace an institution. It's expensive, but let's go ahead and do it. So that now means we can afford technology. We can get the next military tech. So it makes sense that we should do that. We can get the better cavalry. There we go. Uh, what is our tech, actually? We are at military tech 14 to Russia's military tech 13. The Ottomans are on military tech 14 as well. At least we're not sort of... Um, on the back foot now. Do we have any policies that we can enact that might help us? Uh, national manpower modifier and land leader maneuver. Uh, we could go ahead and uh, enact this thing actually, the Native Assimilation Act. Give us some more global settler increase, but it's going pretty quick as it is. Um, I don't think I'm going to turn any of those on for the time being. I think we are literally just going to push in here and uh, hopefully just get enough stuff. Um, hopefully just get enough war score to take a couple of provinces and, and leave, basically. That's kind of the plan. So sort of move all of these stacks in together. So we try and make this a sort of a, a quick war. If the Ottomans sort of come through Persia, we might see them coming. If they come all the way through Russia, it's going to be a long trip. It'll take a long time for these guys to actually move into Russia, given the fact that um, it's t technically terra incognita, which is why they're taking so long to move. There we go, they are moving in now. And of course the problem here is we've got no idea currently where Russia's armies are. Or the Ottomans army. Right, here's the here's an Ottoman stack. Here's the first Ottoman stack coming in. Um, whether or not they send in another stack, I do not know. Um, looks like they already have a pretty big, um, pretty good general there. So let's sort of march around this side. Not going to use the Conquistador. We might have to use the Conquistador. Let's go ahead and use the Conquistador. We need to try and head off that army if we can. I don't know where he's heading to. Uh, let's go ahead and take the Diplotech. Almost looks like you're sort of heading up towards Mongolia. And also, and this is another thing... Um, that annoys me with EU4. Forts just basically don't bother the AI at all. The AI just like wanders around them. It's like, yeah, whatever. I don't care. Um, 
So let's get you guys all the way up here. And I'm hoping we can head off. Uh, they're actually trying to split that army up a little bit there, actually. So let's get everybody in over here. They just end up taking this, like, one province. It's not really going to be an issue. And the question is, what, where are they going to try and go? Oh, there's another 28 stack coming in over here. So they're really trying to throw their numbers in. Right, let's just, let's just rush in here and see what we can do. As we've got a ton of money, let's go ahead and... Um, Just try and grab a load of mercenary infantry that we can use to reinforce with here. Now, theoretically... Theoretically, you, you guys are trying to move into it Terra Incognita, so you should be really slow moving. Wow, they are wrecking us there. Oh, because AI rolls like a god. Forgot about that. So we'll take that back. Now that army's got a long way to retreat, which is good for us. Yeah, look, they've got another... Th the Ottomans have just got massive stacks over here. So let us take these armies. Because I don't think we really need them against Russia at the moment. I haven't seen any Russian troops. Let's just go and keep trying to jump on the um, the Ottoman armies right now. And um, what I'm thinking about doing is uh, giant death stack. I'm just going to run them down with giant death stacks. Yeah, you're sort of retreating a long way away. You've taken another province. Good for you. But now I'm marching down there with a big group. Now, it looks like you might be trying to get over here. We do need a leader in... Let's just go and... Um, well, let's get this 60 stack together. How long is it going to take you to get there? Too flipping long. Let's group you up. You're going to go ahead and have... Um, well, you're not a very good leader, but you're better than not having a leader. So, we're about to run into something there. I think it's just a one stack, so that'll be a squish. Looks like they're trying to get their armies together here. So yeah, you're moving into there. You should be able to squish that one stack. Yeah, if you want to come in there and take that fight. I just don't want you guys to um, get your armies together, basically. Now, where are you moving to? We'll arrive in Slozak. So you are trying to move into there. Don't even bother about taking that back. Just go and fight those guys. It is in the mountains, which is a little bit unfortunate. Um, Pomo has become self-sustaining. And of course, again, it takes me to completely the wrong place on the map. Um, so that's this one. Um, I guess taking the coast makes the most sense. Because it helps to reduce the chances of anybody else getting in there and uh, settling. Uh, explore. Let's go ahead and do that. Back over here. Right, let's go and see if we can march in quickly with these um, mercenaries as well. So we're going to have a couple of fights going on here. Oh, that engagement in the mountains has not worked out well for us at all. And this engagement over here as well, considering... I mean, okay, they had a much better general. But looking at the numbers we had, that was absolutely painful. Um, we're going to need to get out of this war as quickly as we can. I mean, we are winning. We do have positive war score. I'm going to take these guys. And how are the rebel factions doing? There's a couple, but none to worry about. Tempted to just still leave that guy over there. Um, this mercenary stack, you just stay there. And we'll... Um, we'll hire some more mercenaries. thinking about like just going pure infantry with the mercenaries there so that was two stacks lost that's unfortunate we might have to just go have these two stacks working together 
because that was quite a nasty... Uh, where was that one that we lost? Oh, did you just run on... Yeah, you just overrun a mercenary stack. Um, let's get you guys all over here. Uh, I could really do with... Um, Mongolia being over here to help me, to be honest. But while the Ottomans are busy down here, we're going to continue to try and take as much as we can over here. Uh, we need to take a fort, is the important thing. Mongolia is spreading out all over the place, so that is helping us, I suppose. So we'll get you guys all together. Again, most of the stuff the Ottomans are taking here is relatively worthless. Uh, but I'm going to end the video there, because we've gone way over the 20 minute mark. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you are still enjoying EU4 as Ming. I'll see you on the next video, and until then, goodbye for now.